let us consider the situation that there is a lorry moving on a horizontal surface and on the face of a lorry that is before the drivers on the glass we would like to put a block of mass m without any support and we don't want that block to slip down why do that black will slip, uh, slip down obviously because uh, its weight is always acting in the downward direction when the weight is acting in the downward direction body will slip down and we don't want this body to slip down what we want to do for this body not to slip down is we want to give an acceleration to this lorry how much acceleration that we have to give to this lorry or with how much force that this lorry has to move so that the block is not going to slip down this thing that we want to solve this problem we want to solve let us come to the point now the body is having a mass of m so its weight is acting in the downward direction obviously friction comes into the picture as the body is trying to slip down friction will acts in a opposite direction acts in an upward direction now i want to identify what is the acceleration with which we have to move the lorry the first thing is for the body lorry becomes a frame of reference this frame of reference is having an acceleration and moving with a certain force this kind of frame of reference is called a non inertial frame of reference when the frame of reference is non inertial we cannot apply the newton laws directly on the body we have to change the uh, frame of reference from non inertial frame to the inertial frame then only we can apply the newton laws of motion newton laws of motion are not valid in a non inertial frame and we don't have any other choice than newton laws of motion to solve the problems involved with the forces so we have to nullify the acceleration with which the frame is moving so that we can apply the newton laws of motion on the body for that sake what we will do is we will imagine a force on the block on the body that we are considering who is equal to the force with which the frame is moving but in the opposite direction remember that we are imagining it so that we can safely apply the newton laws of motion this kind of the imagined force is called something like a pseudo force it is not existing we have just imagined so we can understand very clearly that we can imagine a pseudo force acting on the block in the reverse direction as we have imagined the pseudo force acting in the reverse direction we can see that there is a force applied by the body on the face of the lorry which acts like an action now the lorry applies the reaction with an equal magnitude of the pseudo force but in the opposite direction so we shall imagine a pseudo force acting in the opposite direction that is the force that we need to apply on the block and that is the force with which the lorry has to move therefore our system can be in an equilibrium state now for the equilibrium state we can definitely write the same condition that we are writing in the previous problem also that for the equilibrium frictional force shall compensate the weight therefore the body is not going to slip down mu into normal reaction is equal to the weight here normal reaction is nothing but equal to the pseudo force that is equal to mg let that pseudo force is having some acceleration ma that can be equal to mg so the acceleration acting on the block shall be equal to g by mu that implies being this is the same acceleration that the lorry is supposed to have the vehicle is supposed to have the so called vehicle shall have that much of acceleration shall have acceleration a equal to g by mu if the vehicle moves with this much acceleration we can imagine the same pseudo force which will compensate the real uh, real force so that the frame will become an inertial frame therefore the frictional force can be compensated with the weight therefore the block can be in the state of rest itself so the vehicle the lorry bus whatever it is the car 
shall move with this much of the acceleration.